All right, so we got G Easy here, Detroit Day, Sunday, and uh, we're live, man. Yeah. Five thousand seats for this one. Crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. How's the tour been going? It's been blessed, man. Everything sold out. Uh, the crowds have been insane, man. It's just like the timing around this one is great, man. I mean, the album came out, you know, what, like a month and a half ago mm -hmm. or whatever, and uh, the song myself and I is taking off, and it's like finally, like. You know what I mean? You see this, like, 10, 11 years of work finally start to, like, tip yeah. and, like, you know, take it to the next level. And now you were just in Kansas City. You had Tech 9. Now, when you see these artists that, like, maybe you look up to yeah. and then they're coming on your shows, what's yeah. that feeling like, man? I mean, that's, like, the most high. Mm -hmm. Honestly, bro, it's like, <clears throat> like, you know, no, no amount of, like, money or numbers or anything like that can make you happy. But it's, like, in terms of validation or just, like, you know what I mean? Like, like any kind of return is, like, when people you admire mm -hmm. in the respect is mutual right they come out and they tell you you know what i mean like you're doing good that's that's worth way more than any other kind of return to me I mean, right personally you're one of those people to where you tour constantly yeah. like you see you know you have certain artists that will go on summer tours or fall tours you tour constantly does it ever get like man i just want to break or are you on that that go 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 right now man we just go 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 you got to strike while the iron's hot you mm -hmm. know and honestly man i feel better on the road like you know what i mean when i'm on the tour bus i got my bunk right you know what I mean? It's like, it's, I'm a minimalist, man, and, and and tour life is really like, it's, it's simple. You know what I mean? You, right. You, I mean, anything you can fit in a suitcase. You know what I mean? It's like a more like slim down lifestyle right. than like I don't know. So you got U.S. dates, and then you're going to the U.K. right? Mm -hmm. And then Australia. We Australia, yeah. We're about to announce Canada. Yeah. So what's the biggest difference between like American dates and then U.K.? Like, what is the difference that you see? I mean, obviously you have a fan base that goes worldwide, yeah. but like, what's the big difference between the fans? Uh, just the accent that you can hear from the crowd. When <laughs> you know, I mean it. <laughs> like, me, myself, and I. Like, I don't know. They got all different kinds of like. It's funny when you hear like the collective, like thousands of people like singing. Words and they like collectively have this accent like it's funny um now nah, like the energy in australia was just real punk rock it mm -hmm. was real like sweaty and just like crazy and wild and you know what i mean sometimes in america they're like almost like afraid to mosh or, right like, push each other or get dirty or like get stepped on like but in australia some places in europe they just don't they don't care right now, now in the UK, do they have like kids waiting? Out? Like, there's kids waiting outside right now. Like, they we got here at one o'clock, and there's kids waiting. It's 16 degrees, yeah. and the bay it's warm. But you start yeah, getting yeah. out here. Is that crazy to you? Like, you see those people waiting, and they're waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely crazy, dog. Like, that's. I think about that. Like, all right, I wake up, I go about my day. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I get ready to go on stage. I stand by, I go on, like, these kids have been, like, out there in the cold, like, hours on hours on hours right. on hours, you know what I mean, and then they get in the venue once doors open, you know, and, like, they watch everybody else play, and they're just on their feet standing, and then finally when I come on, then my set's an hour and a half, like, right. you know, it takes a lot of passion and dedication, so that's... You never take that lightly. Now, what's your favorite song to perform on the new album? Because mine personally is Calm Down. I like Calm Down and Random's Dope. But yeah. like, what is your favorite track to perform? Um, those two are fun. Probably one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's just got like an epic, dark, like Batman vibe. And you got uh, E-40. You got mm -hmm. Too Short. And then you got Big Sean on the track or on that album. Mm -hmm. What was that process like? Like, especially, you know, because us being here in Detroit and Flint, like, Big Sean yeah. is like, God. You know, like, what yeah. was that process like getting him? Nah, you know? Big Sean's the dopest, man. I had met him and uh, a while ago. I want to say, like, two years ago. And he just showed love, man, like, off the top. Like, off, off top like, and every time I'd run into him after that, like, he was always the coolest, like, hella down to earth, hella chill. And um, I just hit him like, yo, man, I got this record. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm about to put my album out. I would I would very much appreciate it if you would hop on it. Uh, sent him a song. He was like, yo, this shit is hard. And yeah. I hopped on it. That's dope. So obviously Masonic Temple tonight. You got a big UK tour. And then Australia after that. Canada after that. What are your plans? Are you looking in the future after yeah, yeah. that? Like, that's that's way down the road. <laughs> like, nah, man. We want to take over the world. It, it won't happen on its own. Right. G-Easy, man. I appreciate it. So, appreciate, appreciate it. Can't it, wait for the show tonight, man.